All right, welcome back in, everyone. This is going to be the long-form content of my bridge troll build. It is complete. This is what I submitted for the contest. I'm going to put uh, timestamps down below because I'm going to do a lot. I've got this tower. I've got the mine underground. I've got that whole tower, that whole tower, that tower, that tower. I mean, it's a lot. And the whole bridge deck. It's a lot to go through. I'm going to show you all the things, all the secret entrances everywhere. I'm also going to link in the description my Twitter post for the contest entry. Unfortunately, I am one of many. I, I am a new Twitter user because I only got Twitter for this contest. This is also affecting people who have not posted on Twitter for over 30 days. Our videos are not being shown to the public at all, like at all. You can go there if you have the link, which I will put down below, but otherwise nobody can see it. Keen can't see it. This Ruby U5 guy can't see it. So I basically entered the contest for nothing. Uh, so this video will hopefully be a reason to get maybe a few of you watching this to uh, go there, share it, like it, retweet it, whatever you, whatever you need to do to try to, I, mean, I don't know, force the Twitter algorithm to do something. Anyways. Let's get on with this build. Like I said, timestamps will be made down below. So we come in. This is one of six now. Six total. Well, technically seven, but six entrances, all secret, into the uh, bridge troll base. So I did add a uh, saw bench, saw horse, table saw, excuse me, into the wall next to this, which is the uh, beehive smoker. It looks much better as far as the operational mechanisms for the quote crane added some uh, storage items in here to make flesh it out a little better. I did go ahead and add storage up here. I went and just put made items. I mean, that makes sense. This, this was where the, the whole thing started before they built the bridge. They started with this mine right next to it, which makes sense. You dig out all the material right where you're going to do it. Put this nice, uh, accent here running up to highlight the light and then for those who have not seen it we have a secret up here i don't know if you want to call this one a secret entrance it kind of is uh but it would not be easy to land up here to be able to enter from this secret space so watch out for bloom but you get one hell of a view from up here you can just come up here sit down and one hell of a view all right, let's go back down. Let's get down the fast way and not to kill ourselves. All right, let's go down into the mine. So added a little deck here for storage because I did put a bathroom in finally. It's a very simple bathroom. It is just the worker's bathroom, so they don't need a lot. They do their business and get back to work. Just flesh this out a little bit more, made a little bit more storage for it look like they were actually doing their work down here. And then we're coming to the mine. The mine is now finished. And it is wonderful. I think it turned out absolutely fantastic. Built a better version of my crane down here that I think looks much nicer. Also did the uh, table saw right here. Fleshed it out a little bit, makes it look nice. And we have the flora has started to retake. Now you got to figure this is hundreds of years since they dug this mine out, built the bridge, everything. So where they actually went down first is uh, recovering its own own land back. It's even tearing up this little bit here. You know, got a little nasty up here where they were taking uh, blocks of stone out. We still have some blocks sitting around we have this cool uh mushroom growing up out of the stone wall that was a little difficult to get done but it worked some pieces of stone that haven't been taken out yet the uh not the block go to this it is called oh, i don't have any on me the luminescent growth got a, a well down here that which it would have served them originally. That is the boundary. This is the full 160 meter, well, 80 meters this direction from where the flame altar is. 
Let's go back to this so it's not bugging us. I really like how this turned out. Uh, I was able to place it. Now, if you place the fences down where the ground is uneven, that's how you can get it to kind of tilt and do funny things. And it looks great. I, th I think it really turned out well. It looks like this luminescent growth is exploding out of here. We even got some mycelium growing, changing the the uh, tower. Yeah, I, th I think it turned out really nice. That was a, kind of a weird thing there. <laughs> but nice, nice big mine. I really like how it ended up. I could still go this way a little bit, but not very much. Uh, it, and the reason it's enshrouded right there is because that's almost to the full enshroud. Now, that direction, I could go quite some distance. I was just like, nah. It's big enough that I think it serves its purpose. Then you have this way. I kept planting some of the um, uh, Azure Rusula around. to just give it a little bit more. Kind of fleshed out this a little bit. Chunked it with a, a pickaxe so it wasn't so straight. Make it look like, you know, hey, they were going that direction and the luminous growth just took over. Added a new ventilation shaft. If you can kind of see how far below the ground we are, we're pretty far, but we're also pretty high up. It's about 10, 15 meters up. This was that big open room. I just put a wall here and figure this is where the workers were when they were originally here. Before the bridge was actually completed... And before, obviously, the base was built into it. Now we have another secret entrance here, which is open, and it shouldn't have been open, but I know why it's open. So if you come down the path from that, you come over here, and you had this, you know, this is part of, like, your basic tutorial area. I didn't, I decided not to fully flesh this out as a uh, quarry, but you kind of still get the idea that it, it was a portion of quarry. I added this tree, works great. Looks like looks the part right there on the hill added these bushes to hide it, but you can't really see this anyway, and it's one of these. Works out really well. Come down in here, we got another ventilation tube here, where if I carefully angle, you can see the bridge. There we go. Get a little bit of bridge view. And of course, this one was opened, like, because I just did my walkthrough. But you would come in here. And this is the first, it's technically the second tower, but this is the first main tower that's in the gorge. So these ladders don't go anywhere because we can't lean a ladder. So they're basically, they're stored here. This is your storage area. And you have the bathroom that is for the ladies. Theirs is the first living quarters as we go up. Uh, nice tiled floor. This is the highly polished stone block. And they have a fireplace, of course. Nice lighting. Just very cozy. Small space, though, man. It was <laughs> putting a bathroom in a hallway, basically. And then we come up here, and we are coming up to the ladies' uh, quarters first. So the farmer over here, you can see she's got flowery-type uh, pictures. She has flowers all over this little bed right here. And there's a lot of them. I packed them in there as tight as I could get them. And then you've got the uh, Huntress, and it makes sense how hers, she's got all animals, maybe she's hunting them, she's got a trophy, they've got their own fireplace, just very cozy, hard to fit all of this, of this in there, but very cozy. Little storage there, little window to peek in, or ventilation, however you want to call it. So we're going to come up here, and this is the area for the... Uh, carpenter. This is a very scaled down version of my sawhorse. I couldn't fit the whole sawhorse in here, so I just did a really short one. But he's kind of short too, so why not, right? And then these bad boys, I love these. I've got a whole video up. It hasn't shown yet. It's live. Um, <clears throat> I've been separating my videos by every two days. Uh, tomorrow I get on a plane and I move again. So it's probably going to be a week after this. It's probably going to be a week before I can upload again. So I went ahead and spam made a bunch of videos and I'll be sending them every two days. So hopefully there won't be much of a gap like there was in uh, early January. But yeah, he's got his own bathroom in here. And what I did with this, uh, 
this counts uh, not the bed, but this sink, that table. Uh, quite a few of it is sunk down into the ground a little bit. I used, I don't have it on me. Um, I used a shelf. Put the, I, I chunked out some of the pieces, some of the floor, then put a shelf in to where the shelf was just submerged a little bit, then placed the item on it. And I'm going to show you more examples of that later to bring it down to his more smaller stature. And I thought that was a cute idea. But this is a super, super cute little room for him. When we come up here, we've got him with a, his little eating space. Here with this guy, the reason there's flames in there is because there's two of that wall torch in there. And then I just scooted this thing in and it works perfect. I've got the uh, blue luminescent block kind of highlighting the back of these uh, trophies because this is the Huntress Lair and she has more animal posters has all the tools she needs all of her trophies very well designed for her and then the creme de la creme the most important NPC the alchemist so we've got the spiral stair up here we have a, an ingle nook. This ingle nook goes to another secret entrance. This one's dodgy, but watch out for bloom. Woo! Because it throws you right out onto this this deck. But if I close this up, you you can't really see it. It's I built it directly into there, and it, it did very well. Looks good. Looks the part. I come in here and close it, and then just go right back down. Works out pretty well. So nice hearth in here. Uh, it says 68. I should be 69. But for some reason, something's bugging and I can't get that last point uh, for 69. But yeah, he, he's got a lot of really cool stuff, including a, another uh, privacy screen. I built this four poster bed. I put the screens in from the backside by doing this. Uh, I have a video on this up. I'll show you real quick. So you take this and you come down like that. Then you go inside this and you put the uh, the picture frames from the inside. And then you can do that here with this as well. And if you can see, the, the banner is hanging in the center of the wood because I faced it off of this metal block that I put on the outside versus hanging it against. It looks really, really good. Uh, also used a... Uh, see, that is the mahog. Um, I don't remember which one that is up there as a headboard. I sunk that down one into it. Now that cubby could be a window if you had the space for it, but I didn't here. But he has everything he needs. He even has some floating candles because I don't know why we espouse that the uh, alchemist is a wizard, but we all, we all have the same thoughts that he must be a wizard. So we're going to go up here. This is the atrium or the balcony. We've got lots and lots of plants up here, plants in in pots, plants in bathtubs, just plants everywhere. Scarecrow chilling out. It's funny, too. It looks like his hand is leaning over the edge of that stone. I swear I didn't do that on purpose, but that's how it ended up, and I love it. And now for the kitchen. This is so cool looking. I did the same thing with this fire by setting the braziers one block down. I did a little too many. I put four of them. Should probably only put two, but that's okay. It's just a really, really bright fire. And this set of cabinets uh, is a design by Ketmall. Uh, used toilets. It's fantastic. This is also another design. These posts right here are this. They're standing torches. They're one down, and then you replace the tile, and they're covered by that top, and it looks like beams holding it up. Fantastic. This is the alchemy station that I sunk into the wall that looks uh, like a proper kettle being hung there. I got a little pantry section here for dishes that I used. The one and only nightstand, I think it's called carved nightstand, uh, that you can use to stack things inside. Of course, I put a uh, shower embedded into the wall 
and stuck the sink on it and it looks perfect like like that would be the water spout coming down for the sink works out very very nicely got a cactus for some reason i just decided hey, i wanted a cactus i guess so we have a cactus and then we have this bad boy i i did try to make the uh <laughs> like the the mouse the the mickey mouse one but it, it it didn't come out quite the same so some of you have seen this some of you haven't but we've got the uh very nice cute cozy library that in and itself is a secret which is open because i did just the video you can drop down here come up through this secret passage very cool indeed and pixel perfect when this shuts that is as pixel perfect as I could get it. It's a, I, yeah, it, this is a lot. There's got to be a better way to stack books, man, because it's a lot, a lot. Used the uh, highly polished stone over the castle block to make it look like a, uh, like a marble banister. And I also did it up top. I dropped down the ceiling over this to cozy it up, but kept it, kept it high during the walkway. And I just think that works out very nicely. So this is where you come in and I put a really tall bronze thing here that it just really pops with that color. Workbench is right here. You can pop in. We have a secret passage here. This is not an entrance. You can't actually get into this. And this is scary. It feels like you're going to fall over, but you can't actually fall out. I've tested it a bunch of times. Here's my very uh, fun stuff. Oh, you didn't see that. Nothing to see here. Move along. So this is your main storage. I haven't moved every everything over yet, but all of your mats, your food, your building blocks, all the stuff I use to flesh out the interiors, extra clothing, you know, just all that stuff. We're going to come down here to this. I love this. So the way I had to do this, this is the stone nightstand. I had to break down uh, two blocks, put a, put a uh, floor at the bottom from the bottom side, sink that down. If you look, you can just tell it is the uh, stone nightstand, but it fits perfectly. So these are the palm wood chairs. In order to get that like L shape, you have to rotate twice. So when I showed you the, the uh, stone benches, like building the grotto where it's a circle, I rotate those once. These have to be rotated twice. So there is a little bit, if you look on the back, there, the tips, the corners are sticking out just a little bit, but I think it's okay. And it, and it really looks the part. It looks very nice. Here is the amazing bathroom that everybody loves so much. I love it too. It wasn't much I could put underneath the altar, but it really, really is cozy. You got the bathroom, but in a higher standing a height in the bath, in the shower, I mean. Higher standing height where the toilet is. But then much lower down here. Bathtub right next to the windows. It's just super, super cozy. I love it. So we're going to go down again. This is the uh, deep storage. So lots of extra stuff. Anything over the 5,000 I've got down here. And yes, this is all for me chunking out this thing. It's a lot so another way to do a corner bench, um, it would have been better if I could have moved this one out a little bit and done them directly as a 90, but I couldn't because the bench is too long. We'll come down here into the jail. For those who haven't seen it, this is the regular jail cell. This is if you're not too bad, you even have some books to read. A little bit of storage over here, plus the jailer can look down at the hole. This is the bad jail cell. If you punch the king in the face or sleep with the queen or something like that, you go to the hole. And the hole just has a, mat, a floor mat and a bucket, and that's all you get. So probably shouldn't uh, punch the king in the face or anything like that. All right, let's get back up here. We will go over and visit the blacksmith. By the way, if I didn't point it out, there is the farmer. This, there's a table embedded into the uh, stone. You can just see one of the legs there. This looks, I actually love that look. So this is the fa uh, fancy stone. 
Yeah. Yes. Fancy stone block, which actually looks like wood at this point because it has to go one higher to get that kind of uh, uh, milky tone to it. And then I just used the window to plant some more food. Make sure we had plenty of food for the place. Now the planter there. Merge two of the stone benches together to make a really nice long bench. Though you can't see it right now. Let's see if I can see it if I do this. I put copper on the top. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. For his vent hood. It, it's a proper functioning vent hood. It goes up. Uh, it doesn't go all the way to the outside, but it does go up. So he has a nice... I took away... I had in here originally a... Um, magic one but that one looks better because it's got lots of metal and you know metally bits and all that stuff so now let's go over to where the blacksmith sleeps just put a couple candles here so this uh pathway wasn't super super dark a nice deep bench i wish we had like like pillows or some kind of thing this is what fancy stone looks like if you go all the way with it it's a really nice look so blacksmith, very simple accommodations. I actually had it much more simple because I figured that's kind of how the blacksmith rolled is really simple. But I'm like, eh, but then people are going to be like, bro, you didn't finish it. I'm like, yes, I did. It's supposed to be that way. So you get the idea. Not nice and simple. Nothing fancy for him. He's a, he's a working man. He just here, here's old uh, a whole bunch of mediums. I have more than that. And then we come up to uh, a second deep storage, but for larger items, stuff we can't put inside things. So we got a couple mailboxes in here, stacked up uh, chairs, stacked windows, all kinds of goodies. And then we're going to go out to another secret entrance. I did have, I'm going to have to put some light on this thing because I can't see what I'm doing. I, wrong button. I did have to change this slightly. Uh, I had to clean this up a little bit and make the stairs go right down there instead of I had it coming through that wall right there. Uh, because for some reason, when I came back to finish this portion, I couldn't get through right here. It, it wouldn't let me through at all. And it wouldn't let me through down there either. So now it has this kind of, I'm going to turn my thing off now. Now it has an entrance here. You still can't see it from out there. So if you come out, come down like you would to get this chest, you can see that there's a fire in there, but only because I did that for the video, really. I wouldn't normally have that. Get in there. There we go. It is more of a pain this way, but it still works. So we're coming down here, and this is going to be the chapel. I did finally find a way to do railings for this. For those who have seen one of the videos before, I think it turned out quite nicely. I didn't come up with this idea. Someone else had this idea. I don't remember who at this point, but this is your chapel look. So the reason I didn't do anything more with this tower is because, I mean, just look how much scaffolding is in this. That scaffolding is like 30 meters tall. Okay, maybe that's a little bit much. It's like 20 meters tall. And it goes way, way down. It goes down further than this. I'm like, man, what am I even going to build in here with all this stuff? So sunk some windows into the sides to give it some uh, more interesting look. Imagine these bowls are like offerings. Backlit this uh, giant uh, cross here. And it looks like, I swear I didn't do this. It looks like the... Uh, I mean, I, I didn't put this scaffolding here. It was I just gutted this thing, and it just happened to be in the way that the cross sits. It looks like the scaffolding is holding the cross together. It's awesome. little maybe prayer book or something, a little rugs and kneel and pray, whatever you like. We got some uh, skulls and bones and stuff. And that is it. That is going to be the tour of the Bridge Troll build. Like I said, I will place down in the uh, discussion and the comments... I'll pin the comment, the link to the actual Twitter post so that hopefully Keen actually notices it because they retweet all the ones that they see, but they're not seeing a bunch of ours. All the new accounts and all the uh, uh, inactive accounts. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.